but I wanted to take it a step further because on our um, in our evolutionary trajectory, it appears to me that we spend a lot of time eating almost exclusively meat, but not in a way that would match what we imagine when we think of, say, a lion, because a, a dog or a cat species can get a lot of energy from protein. They have a very high ceiling of intake of protein before it becomes toxic to them, whereas humans can really only go up to around 35% of calories, maybe a little more in some situations, uh, without it starting to have bad physiological effects. And if we're not eating, if we're eating a maximum of, let's be super generous, let's say a maximum of 40% of our calories from protein and very, very little carbohydrate most of the year, where's the rest of our food coming from? It's got to be fat. And if fat is the majority of our, cal our calories, then that's what we are. We are, we are lipivores. And, and so I, I kind of went in that direction thinking about humans and their, their fat intake. And I was very influenced by, for example, Stephen Kunane, who has written a whole book uh, about babies being fat. Um, it's called Survival of the Fattest, in which he talks about how human babies are ridiculously fat, like even compared to species we think of as super fat, like seals, um, and how that is an adaptation to make sure that our enormous brains are getting the energy that they need, especially during those critical times of development where if there was any kind of food shortage or something, and the baby didn't have the ability to keep developing the brain, which is our most important adaptation, we wouldn't have been able to become the species that we are. And